61A lecture number two. Announcements. Lab zero is posted. It's a take home exercise that you should complete before you come to lab next week. Try it out over the weekend if you haven't started yet, and then you'll get your personal computer set up. You don't need a personal computer for this class. You're welcome to use our lab computers, both for lab and for homework. You'll have 24 hour access to our labs by being enrolled in this class. However, most students do choose to use a personal computer instead, and it's fine if you want to do that both in lab and uh, for all of the assignments, but you have to get it set up. So that's what lab zero is all about. Homework zero, which is a survey, and homework one, which is not a survey, will be posted today and are due next Thursday. I recommend reading over them once they're posted. You can just fill out the survey right away. For the homework problems, you can start working on them right away or wait until after lab, but it's a good idea to get the problems in your mind by reading over them as soon as possible. In order to encourage you to get started, the staff is going to host a homework party on Monday in 521 Cory. I'll update the announcements right after I make this video so that you can see the location here on cs61a.org. You can also get help by posting on Piazza or coming to drop in office hours. I will say that most students will want some help. The whole point of homework is to push you far enough that you feel like it's time to reach out and discuss these problems with somebody else, whether that's one of your classmates or one of the members of the course staff. The lab section starts next week. You should attend the lab that matches your discussion number. So look on Cal Central. Your discussion has a number. There's a lab with that same number. You should go to that lab. You do not need to change your Cal Central enrollment in order to show up to the lab that matches your discussion. If it turns out that this lab which matches your discussion is not something you can attend, you are also welcome to attend the lab in which you are enrolled on Cal Central. But I do strongly recommend that you attend the matching lab to your discussion so that you have the same TA in both sections. By the way, lab exercises, checkoffs, which will be explained later, and discussion quizzes are all worth points in this class, so you should go to lab section. I mean, go because it's important for your learning, but also get the points. We will have online discussion and lab sections as well this semester. We just announced them yesterday and we had our first meeting yesterday. Um, if you uh, want to be part of an online discussion and lab instead of a regular discussion and lab where you come in, uh, it's still not too late. Uh, please check out this Piazza post that's linked from the course website. And finally, it's a good idea to get to know your fellow students and the EECS department which hosts this course. So there will be two 61A mixers hosted by the EECS department next week. Um, they'll be on Monday and Tuesday, and you can hear about various resources that the department offers to help you succeed. You can also meet other students, maybe find a study group, a project partner, and refreshments will be provided. This is hosted by the undergraduate advisors for the EECS and CS majors.